Four years ago, Ning Yu was an honorary employee at a law firm, a victorious general in the courtroom, and a promising young lawyer with a bright future. Over the past four years, she became a wife, and the trivialities of daily life became her main focus. Ning Yu's husband, Hu Cheng, is a successful and accomplished professional. Ning Yu devoted herself to taking care of the home and her husband so that Hu Cheng could concentrate on his career without worries. Now, Hu Cheng's company, Yao Feng Technology, has become a unicorn in the industry, and their child has grown up. Ning Yu is ready to return to the workforce and restart her career. During her time as a homemaker, Ning Yu never gave up on her profession. She provided online consultations and, with Hu Cheng's support, worked as a pro bono lawyer. When faced with people seeking her advice on trivial matters, such as disputes over feeding stray cats or using a spouse's wash basin to wash their feet, Ning Yu patiently explained the legal issues these small incidents might involve. Her dedication earned her praise from her colleagues. Zhou Wei was Hu Cheng's senior and close friend from their university days, and the two had co-founded Yao Feng Technology. When Zhou Wei came to report on work, Hu Cheng invited him to have dinner at his home that evening and mentioned that he had also invited General Manager Lan. Zhou Wei agreed, saying, All right, I'll bring your sister-in-law along tonight. As Zhou Wei was about to leave, Hu Cheng handed him a birthday gift he had prepared for Zhou Wei's son. Ning Yu, working as a pro bono lawyer in the community, took on a divorce case. The husband had cheated, and the wife wanted a divorce, but the husband had transferred all their assets. Meanwhile, their child was against the divorce. In the child's eyes, the father was the best dad in the world, and they refused to believe he could betray their mother. Ning Yu comforted the wife saying it was normal for the child to have difficulty accepting such a situation, but assured her that the law would protect both her and her child. At the family dinner, Ning Yu wore a Chong Sam. General Manager Lan complimented her, saying, Mrs. Hu, you have such elegance. You wear the Chong Sam with such charm. May I ask which industry you work in? Zhou Wei's wife replied, Yu Yu is amazing. She serves as a legal advisor for a non-profit organization. This left General Manager Lan both surprised and deeply impressed. Zhou Wei said, Yu Yu can work as a pro bono lawyer thanks to Hu Cheng's support. General Manager Lan added, that's evident. They truly are a harmonious and respectful couple. Let's all raise a glass to them. After dinner, Hu Cheng suggested that since their son, Ziwan, had grown up, they should start planning for a second child. However, Ning Yu revealed that she had already received an offer from a company and suggested putting the idea of a second child on hold for now. She explained that after being out of the workforce for so many years, finding a job wasn't easy. Hu Cheng became upset and said, Such a big decision, and you made it without discussing it with me? Besides, I'm worried your old health issues might relapse. Despite this, Ning Yu firmly insisted on returning to work. Seeing her determination, Hu Cheng decided not to push the matter further. The mother seeking a divorce handed over all the evidence of her husband's infidelity to Ning Yu, requesting that the evidence not be disclosed, especially to prevent her son from being hurt. Ning Yu assured her that she would never leak the evidence, but she gently explained, in situations like this, the child will inevitably be hurt. However, it's important to understand that it's the father's actions causing the pain, not yours. Hu Cheng had been in a relationship with manager Tian for quite some time and often met her at hotels. At home, Hu Cheng played the role of a good father and a good husband. Even their son would say, Dad is the big tree that supports the family, while Mom is the little fairy. Kong Kong confronted Ning Yu, angrily asking why she had to destroy his parents' relationship. Ning Yu calmly replied, The world of adults is very complicated, you're still too young. Your mother still needs to figure out how to explain it to you. In a fit of rage, Kong Kong began to cause a scene, even threatening to jump off the building, demanding his mother return home. Unfortunately, in the chaos, he lost his footing and fell, suffering severe injuries that landed him in the hospital. Ning Yu went to the hospital to visit Kong Kong and learned that someone had posted photos of Kong Kong's father's infidelity online. Kong Kong's mother believed that Ning Yu was responsible for this and blamed her for harming her child. She grabbed Ning Yu, 
demanding to hold her accountable. Fortunately, Hu Chang arrived just in time, standing between Ning Yu and Kong Kong's mother. He told her, it's the child's father who has harmed him, not Ning Yu. Ning Yu looked at the photos online, feeling deeply confused. These photos were in her possession, but she hadn't posted them online. She still adhered to the basic professional ethics of a lawyer. What's going on? No wonder Kong Kong tried to jump, but I didn't post these photos. How could this happen? These photos are only in my hands. What's going on, she thought. Hu Cheng then prepared a glass of water for Ning Yu, laced with sleeping pills, and urged her to drink it. He reassured her, saying, thankfully, the child isn't seriously hurt just a fracture. In a little while, he'll be fine. Ning Yu, still puzzled, asked, how did you get to the hospital so quickly? Hu Cheng explained, you didn't answer my calls, so I contacted the service station. That's how I got to the hospital on time. Ning Yu became the target of online abuse due to the incident and, as a result, lost the job she had already secured. The pressure and the public backlash caused her mental state to deteriorate, and she began experiencing nightmares. Hu Cheng took Ning Yu to see a doctor, and he subtly guided the doctor to suggest that Ning Yu might have depression and wasn't fit to return to work. However, the doctor remained professional and cautious, refraining from making any definitive statements. Despite this, Hu Cheng insisted that Ning Yu start taking medication for depression. Ning Yu felt that it wasn't necessary to take the medication, but Hu Cheng was firm in his decision, so she reluctantly complied. Ning Yu was surprised to learn that the service station where she had been doing consultations was sponsored by Hu Cheng. She wondered, why didn't he tell me that he was behind the sponsorship? Isn't this something beneficial? Why didn't he let me know about it? This revelation left her feeling conflicted and questioning his intentions, especially since it seemed like something that should have been shared with her. Hu Cheng felt a sense of relief and even joy because Ning Yu had lost her job. Although Ning Yu had never doubted Hu Cheng's love for her, she couldn't shake the feeling that something was amiss. Deep down, she sensed that there was something off in their relationship. One day, an unfamiliar neighbor came to the door, saying that her daughter, Nai Yunio, was classmates with Ziwan at kindergarten. Nai Yunio was having a birthday party that weekend and invited Ning Yu and Ziwan to attend, adding her on WeChat. This led Ning Yu to start attending gatherings with these other mothers' afternoon teas, gym sessions, and visits to beauty salons. However, she didn't enjoy these activities much. Later, by chance, she overheard a conversation between two of the mothers, realizing that all of these gatherings were arranged and funded by Hu Cheng. Ning Yu began to feel increasingly uncomfortable, as if she were being controlled, like a puppet manipulated by Hu Cheng. This realization left her feeling trapped and uncertain about her autonomy in the relationship.